So there's a question um, how to be sure if a case uh, is a plant kingdom case? Yes, that's a very good question because a plant kingdom case very often is um, confused with animal kingdom case, which is a bit mm -hmm. funny. Eh? We would think that's easy to discern, but it isn't. And then a few reasons for that. We have our pointers, we have our typical words belonging to the kingdoms, we have our theory, but in practice it's not that obvious because they can look alike and there are a few reasons for that as far as I can see. The, um, the known kingdoms so far are plants, minerals, animals. Sorry, what did you say? The, the known, the the known, known kingdoms, the yeah. known kingdoms so far are plant, animal and mineral kingdoms. Those are the the three big ones, the big ones that we know best, mm -hmm. but we have more. We have the Monera kingdom, we have the fungi, which in itself is considered a kingdom by some, mm -hmm. um, and we have the imponderables, which is a kingdom in its own right, because they are all mm -hmm. remedies that we don't know where to put elsewhere, right? Yeah. So the first thing is to discern whether we have a patient, a case, belonging to a known kingdom or to us, lesser known kingdom or smaller kingdom. Mm -hmm. One of the big three uh, known kingdoms or not. As far as I can see, Manara and uh, minerals belong or have an affinity with the second dimension, which is the dimension I consider between the first and the third, that's obvious, which is the, uh, the first being, the center of the world, the um, magnetic uh, core of the world mm -hmm. and the third dimension which we of course know is the surface of planet Earth that's the dimension we live in but we have a dimension in between and that's the second which is what is under our feet yeah? oh. that's the second dimension so that's the realm of the the minerals the the, the ores the um, uh, the crystals the stones uh, the inanimate kingdom, as we said, but it's also the realm of the monera, of the very primitive um, uh, expressions of life, like viruses and uh, bacteria. And on the third dimension, the dimension we live in, we have, we know that, it's plants, animals and humans. Mm -hmm. So, plants and animals share the same dimension, that's what I'm trying to say. And that's mm -hmm. why they're very often confused. And we know, or we learned, uh, we were taught that animal uh, kingdom patients are very lively and they're very talkative and they're very charismatic and they attract your attention. But that is also the case for plants, sometimes even more. So in general, uh, a plant kingdom case will be, of course, very sensitive, that's the word we know, very reactive, I think that's even more important. Plants, they tend to plant cases, don't misunderstand me, they tend to react before they think. So whatever um, uh, impression or whatever circumstance from the outside come to them, they are already acting before they think about it or decide to act or not, they are already doing it. It's quicker than, it's instinctive, it's reactive before mm -hmm. thinking. So that's a characteristic even more than sensitive because you know everybody is sensitive for his own problem. Mm -hmm. uh, minerals are sensitive and we used to make the mistake in the past that when it's a woman and she starts crying must be plant. So that's not the case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they can be compensated and then they won't show your, their uh, uh, sensitivities because they're too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So very often when they are uh, belonging to a miasm closer to syphilis, where it's so intense, the miasm is so intense, so the vital uh, sensation is felt so intense, they will be compensated and they will hide their emotions and their sensitivities. And we will have to ask ourselves who needs to compensate so much? Hmm? Who will try to be so insensitive? Only the very sensitive. Hmm? So it's not always when the emotions are on the foreground and they are very sensitive or very tearful that it's a plant, but it's in general that they are very reactive, that they are normally very lively and that they have many, many, many um, uh, circumstances or situations or anecdotes that they will tell you that affect them. Mm -hmm. Mostly in plant cases, 
we say we don't see the tree by the bush. Then we for sure we know in plant kingdom the patient will talk and give you more examples and give you more situations and give you more complaints and give you more modalities and by the bulk of information you get confused, you get mostly desperate as a homeopath after an hour you wish to make your consultation shorter because the longer it takes the more information comes and, and you get lost in, in the diversity because on every branch there's another tree, or there's another flower coming, and there's another leaf coming, and another branch, and another leaf. I'm using a picture, but that's how a plant case mostly evolves. Every question you ask, you get a new uh, story. You don't mm -hmm. get a, a reply to your question. Mm -hmm. Whereas in a mineral case, you ask something, you get an answer. Mm -hmm. It's more logical. And in a plant case, you will ask, for instance, what do you mean by um, hurt? Hmm? They would, probably they said something like this was a hurtful event or these words hurt my feelings and then you ask what do you mean by hurt? They don't answer why hurt to me means they will say well for instance last week I was on my way to visit a friend and it started raining and I didn't have my rainbow dot but unfortunately etc etc. They will give you all details. They mm -hmm. will make a full picture. They will make a whole story like a chapter of a book and the message in this whole story will be the basic line and that's how I felt. Mm -hmm. Then you know you're in plant kingdom. Because you will ask yourself why don't they just answer my question? Mm -hmm. Why do they give me another story? And that's the answer. Mm -hmm. The story is, is the, the carrier of the message. Mm -hmm. And if they don't give the message clearly, you can ask. In this whole story, I understand that you went there and that this and this happened. How was it for you? See? So that's a sure sign you're in plant kingdom. No answer to your question or indirect answer. A lot of images, a lot of examples, a lot of uh, diverse examples to say the same message. And then you will in the end, because it takes some time, and it's by repetition, you realize that whatever they tell, the basic line, the message is the same. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the physical body, whether it's the sh shoulder that is paining, whether it's the visit to their mother, whether it's a story from their childhood, the basic line is the same feeling. And it's a feeling. It's, it's a sensation in mind and body. And it can be, I get stuck, I, get, uh, I feel hurt, I feel broken, I feel obstructed, whatever, those kind of things. But that's the end of it. That's the last thing they can say. Mm -hmm. Does that make anything clear? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so.